Hi everybody, it's Miss Diana from the Wyndham Public Library giving you your Science Explorers today. Uh, we are doing snow science. Um, Alright, let's start. <laughs> There's no, I don't have to chit chat this time. Usually I chit chat a lot at the beginning. Alright, so there are a variety of things I hope that you have in your home to do most of these experiments. All right, they're all really simple, but they're all really cool if you like snow. Of course, you have to get dressed up. Today, we're obviously outside. I was really hoping for some of those really big, it is snowing right now. I was hoping for some of those really big flakes. There's, But the big ones, the small ones, it, it doesn't matter. They're all really, really cool. If you get to look at them really closely, if you've never done it before, please do it. It's fascinating. All right, so you just need a piece of, I have a piece of black felt and I just put it on a piece of cardboard. If you have any dark, you know, maybe a napkin, piece of fabric, you know, paper, dark paper might be fine, but it might get a little wet. Anything goes, just a dark, dark color of something. I mean, even your mittens or your jacket or whatever, depending on the color. So anyway, I hope that you have a magnifying glass because that you look at the, it is, it is snowing, I don't know if you can see. The flakes are pretty small, but you can still, they still, even some of the bigger ones are really cool. I wish you could see what I'm seeing right now, and I want you to go outside next time it snows. Please try this, it's so cool. You only have to do it for a few minutes. All right, so another thing you can do, if by some chance you are fortunate enough to have, it's called a light table. If not, I get it, that's okay. Just do, do a lot of artsy work. It's a light table that you use to trace things. Architects have them, art, a lot of artists have them. All right, you can't even see that it's on because it's daylight. Do this at night time and have the, it is actually on, have the snowflakes fall on there and look at them through this light. It's so, so cool. I can't do that at night time right now because it's daytime. Okay, well, we're gonna turn that off. That kind of was a waste of, but anyway, try it. And if by some really crazy chance you're lucky enough to have a microscope at home, that's the ultimate. Now the only catch with that is you have to look at them outside. If you bring the snowflakes inside, by the time you get it all set up and focused, boom, they'll probably have melted. So you got to bundle up and go outside just like snowflake then. Okay, moving on. If I haven't inspired you just yet, I'm going to ask you a few more cool questions. All right, so... We're going to bring you down to a different level. You're not going to be able to see me anymore, but you're going to be able to hear me. All right. But it is snowing. I don't want to snow get on the computer here. Okay. So, you're going to need three jars or glasses that are the same size. All right. One of them you're going to fill with water. All right. One of them you're going to fill with ice cubes. Now these, of course, you have to make them at home ahead of time. I would say, whoops, one fell out. All right, I would say that's pretty full. I'll stick this one back in the bag. I don't think it's really necessary if you close it or not, but I just felt like doing that. Okay, ice, water, this one. We're going to fill with snow. We finally have snow. It's the end of January and it finally snowed. Imagine that. Go out and play. All right, fill it with snow. Bunch of things you're going to do with this. I'm all about measuring. I like rulers. I like numbers, all that stuff. I hope you do too. Fill it with snow, fill it with snow. Just so you know, snow is filled with lots of tiny air particles, okay? So my questions to you are going to be all right boy this is this is good packing snow i keep packing it in there <laughs> all right snow we're gonna cover it up all right now you're going to bring these inside when you're ready to go inside and then you have to wait there's always a lot of waiting involved with science not always but in this case there is so i want you to predict how much, now you can measure the water here, this is not a great place because I don't have a level table. How much water is in this jar? That's easy to tell. How much water do you think is going to be in the one with ice? Okay, there's definitely some space in there, but see if you can guess. Maybe take a piece of tape and mark where you think it's going to be when after the ice cubes melt. 
also a cool prediction would be when do you think the ice is going to melt you know depending on the temperature of the inside of your house and the ice and then the snow all right i'm think you have heard, i'm sure by now you've probably heard that when snow melts you know it's not going to be up here where do you think it's going to be just how much water do you think is really going to be in this jar all right so that's a cool one let me know if you find out you got to be patient remember all right so i'm going to set those aside and the last one i did this a few days ago and it was such a neat experiment so you get another jar oh all right here we have another jar this is of water i want to ask you do you think snow oh here i am do you think snow is going to float or do you think it's going to sink in the water what do you think do you want to watch me do it or do you want to try it yourself well let's we'll start with i can't read your mind right now okay so i think you probably already know the answer to this but let's start with an ice cube is this is this ice cube going to fall out of my hand yes is this ice cube going to sink or is it going to float? I think we know the answer to that. Ta-da! It floats. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so I want you to try it home. What do you think is going to happen? Here, I'm going to take this one out. Put it back in the bag. If I put snow in there, is it going to float or sink and why? All right, we like the why question. All right, the last thing I want you to do, we don't need the word. Well, all right. I, I got to know. I don't want you to see this. I'm going to try it over here. No peeking. Oh, you gotta try it. I hope you didn't see that. Okay, empty jar or glass is fine. All right, the last thing I want you to do, and this is really kind of cool too. I did this experiment at home to see just just what. So you're gonna take a bunch of snow, and it doesn't matter how much, just whatever. I would fill the jar. If you want to pack it really good, that's fine. And then I guess there's the old waiting game. Bring it inside and wait till it melts. What I want to ask you is, what do you think it's going to look like? Yeah, it's going to look like water. But do you think there's anything else that's going to happen with that snow? Do you think there's anything else that might be in that water? I can't wait for you to try this experiment. You're going to be blown away. But like, what the? What's in this? <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, do this. And if you really want to expand on this particular experiment, do it in, in multiple jars. Do go out in your yard. Do one, let's say, next to your house. Do one, and then of course you got a label, so you know which one's which. Do one, my hand's getting cold, gotta put the glove back on. Do one near the driveway. How about one under a bunch of trees, and maybe one right in the middle of nowhere. You know, so maybe try three or four different ones, and label them so you know which one was which, and see if there is a difference. I hope so, because that would really t tell you something about the air and snow and precipitation and all that hoo-ha. Anyway, maybe you can discover something truly, truly amazing with all this. I hope so. Okay, thank you for joining me. This was really a fun one for me. I hope you had fun. There's snow going on this laptop. I gotta get it dry. Okay, good to see you guys. Bye. See you next time.